It's nice being out this morning because um, there's so much to look at, especially when I spin around and you see the mist rising. This I'm right by, really right by the um, the Thames. The Thames is only 200 feet that way or so, but it's not really that that so intrigues me. It's these little buds that are coming on the ends of these twigs and little branches and then you see the hazel catkins and the long flowers and there's just something that's happening now that spring is coming and you feel it you see it all around you these sometimes when the sun catches them they look like dangling lanterns and then you've got your early blossom here it's always an exciting time for me for a variety of reasons not the least of which is uh, just that birth of new life that comes with it and uh, the bursting of energy in a variety of ways it affects me when I'm working it affects my woodworking it affects a wide variety of things that time of year when the fungi starts to come out. So fascinating to see it latch on there. This one of the things I've been thinking about was the uh, building of the uh, bench, which I think was um, you know the plywood bench. I mean, I I really never expected such a, a response to it really um, and the reason I say that is because I thought I might get a lot more negative than positive and uh, and I, I think that's um, a surprise to me because uh, you know I really did want it as a bridge and it is going to work as a bridge for people who've never done any hand tool woodworking I'm glad we put the workbench build out in plywood because I think lots and lots of people are doing it now uh, from what I've heard from what you've written in and taking the time to thank us for putting together now we thank you for making it yours I like this part of the lake it's usually very quiet and still in the lee side of the lake and then um, often I'll see uh, a variety of different waterfowl here. This is the first time I've been able to cycle without my gloves on so I can tell how, how much warmer it's become and hoping we see less and less cold weather. When I'm out in the morning like this, I'm always looking, looking, looking up at the sky, down at the, the ground. And um, I've been like that since I was probably seven or eight years old. I can remember always looking for wildlife, just wanting to see it, not wanting to hold it, not wanting to catch it or keep it, but just to see it, be a part of it. They are paired, they pair for life, swans. This slightly warmer weather means I don't have to wear a coat, which is great. This is my workshop this morning, it's Sunday morning and I was just reflecting uh, on what I have made Recently, uh, I made this uh, small organizer to replicate one that I've put on the floor for now um, because I thought it would be a great teaching project. And then, of course, this was the garden bench that I made, which we have yet to film. And this is my the drawing. I'll actually work to 
now that I've finalized all the components and the details. So these are the last few projects, two or three projects that I've made. This is my oak, it looks very stained. That's just the drying process where uh, moisture drips during the process of drying and then of course as it's drying it dries on the surface of the wood and leaves these stains but they're only surface stains they're not going very deep it's a long time since we did this project this was the uh, bench stool that we made I made this one and I made this one uh, the blue one and then I made an oak one for the actual filming which came out very very nice so all of these date back, they go back, whoa, did they go back? I did this box here uh, because Izzy needed to film it for woodworking, uh, for um, common woodworking. So we made this one, I did. And, uh, and she photographed the steps as I went. So uh, that was great. Could have been better, I think, some of the little details. The bot actually the dovetails came out just fine. Uh, as did the considering the nature of the wood, I used offcuts for it. I didn't use bought wood, I just used offcuts actually. I used the offcuts to make that from the garden bench rippings that I did, so it didn't really cost me anything. You've caught me in the middle of cleaning up. I'm just organising or reorganising myself. I have just spent a day and a half uh, preparing my wood on the garden bench that I've been making and uh, just got it done. It's a lot of hand planing, a lot, because I started with rough sawn wood. And um, by the time you've even ripping it on the bandsaw, it still takes quite a, an amount of time even though you've got the donkey doing that donkey work for you. I was thinking about this culture of hand planing, you know, there's nothing quite like it, I, I don't think, uh, because you do get, I think I got the equivalent probably of uh, four hours in the gym uh, per day. So I got six hours of really serious gym work. Legs, uh, torso, <coughs> shoulder, neck, all of the rest of it, you know. And I, I've never bulked away from hard work. And I feel like I, uh, I hit the spot as far as getting my, beyond my exercise. I, there's no way Every time I go to a gym, within about five minutes, I am so bored with it. And if I run, which I do as well, I am bored with it within a few minutes. And, um, but when I'm working here, I never get bored. There's just something about this combination of real work real work. I mean, work that's producing something other than just muscle. Other than, I mean, I get my heart pumping. My heart is pumping when I'm working. And um, it, this is such, such a different form of exercise that you can't, and then of course you have the therapy of the mental acuity, the, de the, the decision making the whole time, which you probably won't get. Unless you, you know, I mean, and I see people, you know, using their cell phones for entertainment when they're jogging and stuff like that and listening to music. I think that's probably great. I've never done it, but I love this. I do, I, I love it because I'm constantly thinking, I'm choosing my parts. I'm thinking, which part will this do? Oh, this will work well because it's got a little bow in it. This one will work well because it looks like it's got a nice even grain or it's got this or it's got that. So this is my Saturday and what I do on a Saturday, it's a day with no questions. Nobody calls me, nobody's saying, Paul, have you, can you, this, that and the other. And I can spend uh, my time just focusing on getting ready for actually making, uh, making my bench and, this is a garden bench by the way, and uh, 
and getting ready for the filming and working out the sequences, the series in my head, wondering, well, how do I describe this and how do I show that? And it's also a period, like I come to the end of my Saturday working in here and I see all the pieces of wood. These are the offcuts, not the woods that I've finished with. I'm clearing my bench so I can put the wood on my bench. And, um, and when I do that, I've got all the shavings swept up, I've vacuumed, got all the dust out of the atmosphere, that kind of stuff. And then I'm ready for next week and I'm ready to talk to Ellie and Izzy and Natalie and Joseph and, and, um, and talk to them about how we want to present what we're going to present. And that, it's amazing. I love it. I love it. So hopefully you can understand this is the end of my working week is always on a Saturday. I work from Monday through Saturday. Saturday is a bit more flexible, but usually I go till mid-afternoon now on Saturdays. I used to go, you know, till six, seven at night. You know, you got mouths to feed, you got bills to pay. That's what you do. It's a small town, Abingdon. It's not very big at all. Uh, not quite a village, but it's not much more than that. It doesn't have a lot to offer in terms of a town centre, but it does. It is a nice rural. Uh, area, agricultural surroundings, uh, partly why I wanted to live here, because without the countryside I'm pretty lost. So here I've got my wildlife, my birds, and uh, even a sparrow has its place. I've just arrived um, at a place I won't give the details of it yet because uh, I don't think it's really necessary but my interest um, in autism goes back about 10 years when I first started I was fascinated by the subject of autism uh, which is people and um, very special people really and um, this recently I've found myself working towards a goal really involving um, working with uh, young people who have autism. They're, they are autistic and um, they're a very unique group of people and uh, very individualistic and I wanted to um, talk a little bit about it because uh, I think that um, some of my goals and my ambitions are to work more and more with autistic people, young adults, not necessarily very young adults, any adults that I feel like I could help working with their woodworking. And um, so I've been working towards that and more recently, and here I am, I'm out at a place, it's actually a farm, but they have a woodworking uh, endeavor as well. And I've come out here just to take a look at what they're doing and see if what I've been teaching over the last 20 or 30 years would be well suited to something like autism. So that's why I'm here and that's what I'm going to look at this evening. So I got my garden benches finished, I got the plywood bench done, I've made the baby's cart which is about to be occupied because my granddaughter is just about three months old. So I'm looking forward to installing the cot at their house and installing my grandbaby in there because she's going to love it. So here is my spring. Mm -hmm. 